Hey guys, it's Timmy again and in this video we want to talk about drone setup to increase your efficiency in your runs. So let's hop right into it. So hi guys, uh, welcome to the video and uh, as mentioned we are going to talk about drone setup. I will show you how I set up my drone to um, make specific mining runs and stuff like it. Uh, and also to get you more familiar with how to set up your drone if you want to do uh, d special things, right? So as you can see here in my drone this is this would be my setup for mining runs especially stage three um, uh, you can swap out a lot of augments to to do different things but for me personally i feel like this is like the most efficient way for my um, specific type of farming stage three so I go for huge mining power, as you can see, like the mining power 30 supreme drive, um, with also mining power in the secondary stat. Then I got on the right slot um, the supreme bracket with mining power passive and energy cost reduction on the first. And in the middle slot the heat map accuracy with chance to duplicate mining. Uh, in this setup you need like three extractions per deposit uh, to, to have done it fully in stage 3 and also have like only 80 energy costs per extraction of the mining thing. So you need basically 240 energy for each deposit to have it fully. Sometimes there is one or two slots left but um, in general it's 240 per deposit and you will get the whole one. So this is like what I figured out is the best uh, suited for my style of farming. But there are also like different approach, right? Um, so my style of farming is actually to just concentrate on ore or shard deposits, mainly shard deposits, if I could find them for those I all the time go. But I also run around and scan like some encounters to see if there's a good alluvial in it and uh, to go for this one. This will save time, right? But you can also vary, of course, if you say, no, I want to go like full mining and like with the lowest cost possible, then it makes maybe more sense to go full hem on mining energy cost reduction because uh, for example Zersky has a setup where he only needs 47 energy per extraction so basically nothing and he will be more efficient in um, in like mining but uh, the thing is that he needs more time to find all the rocks right if you oh save God, so much energy cost, move a little bit. you um, also need a lot of time a to find tiny all bit the more. Rocks. Okay. And, um, yep. This will, like, okay. Um, make the so time. now that we have the full screen for ourselves, we're gonna go through the real mining build, which is not sane. It's not good, but it's fun. Who cares about saving time, right? We're going a mad build, which includes a lot of mining reduction cost. On the first one, we're gonna use minus 30 mining cost, which is already bunkers. The second one, mining power. This one is just whatever. We could use some other better ones, but that's what I had in my equipment, so that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so let's move to the third one. This one, to be honest, I tried to make a supreme one, but I failed with mining cost, so we have to go with this one, which is a lot more. 15 plus 7.5, I'm not gonna try to make a math right now, gonna 
because I'm gonna shame myself. So this plus this and a little bit of this equals a lot of energy. So now to prove you, let's go. And and check in the region. Come on, come on, come on, E. I want to hit you. There you go, E. Unfortunately, I went for the stage three, so I can't show you there. But we gonna go for stage two. Go, go, Power Rangers! Okay, there we are! And there is a rock, and there is a rock, and there! And there, no, there is a plant. Basically, there's a lot of rocks. Let's check first one. Dum, dum, dum. Basically, in this build, you can go for every single rock you can find. 47 instead of 100. And if you get lucky with the supreme one, the, the second, uh, the third one, it could be even lower. So you can mine a lot. I actually forgot how many times we had to do that, so let's go and check on this one. Okay, so scan number one. Done. Scan number two. Done. Scan number three. Three. So it's not even 150 for one rock. Uh, let's try one more. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, okay. Nobody saw that. Let's go somewhere safer here. And kids invest in Supreme Visor. It's so nice. You can see from far. Maybe not that far, which is weird. Oh, maybe a little bit on the edge. Okay, let's not distract ourselves. Uh. Okay, never mind. That's a gem. We avoiding gems deposits. Actually, we have to go for every single rock because we have so much energy. Scan number one. Got it. Scan number two. Ah, sip of tea. I'll use it. Scan, scan number three. Ooh, and scan number four. Not good, but still enough. This looks good. So, three to four times, and that's enough for the entire ga entire map to collect all of them. Okay, so back to Timmy. Uh. The thing is that he needs more time to find all the rocks, right? If you s save so much energy costs, you um, also need a lot of time to find all the rocks. And um, this will like uh, make the, the, the time of your run longer to find everything. 
and when you are finally there, like let's say when the game is out, then uh, maybe some other guy already have completed two ones with uh, like a little bit lower um, efficiency, right? So this actually what I think is um, brilliantly done by the game devs to set it up like this way. I feel like um, basically all the possible um, drone setups are very nice but um, in general you should or you can increase your efficiency by um, focusing on dedicated ones. So this one would be my uh, setup for, for mining in stage 3. Um, for example, if, if I go to stage 0, this will have no sense, right? Because mining power is like, I will still need two extractions per deposit in stage 0. And uh, you don't save too much energy, but you also don't have to uh, save energy in tier 0 because it's free anyway. Um, so for stage 0, only farming um, or grinding ores, I would go for max duplicate ore thing. Because then you can just go to the hotspot where the most ores are, let's say uh, the, um, the graveyard or the um, garden or whatsoever. You go your route, s uh, grind as much ore deposits as you can go, hopefully duplicate a lot instantly quit the run, go next and go your uh, efficient route again. That would increase your ore yield by, by a mile, right? Whether I go with mining power, I will um, yeah, do the same stuff, but I don't have duplicated ores, right? And that's why it doesn't make sense to go so huge on mining power in stage zero. And therefore you can have like a dedicated drone setup for each thing you want to do in this game. So if I decide my run stage 3 now will be a mining one, I use this setup, right? But I also have some setup in my uh, locker storage for the other things. So if I want to to go... Um, uh, so those I crafted just a second ago for uh, energy cost reduction, but I also have like this capture power increase uh, with encounter entering costs minus 20% and capture power and uh, encounter enter costs here for the middle end. So those three would be my setup if I go for a dedicated uh, illuvial catching one. Um, you can also vary this. I mean the increase in capture power is for me very strong because I'm usually low on high level charts. So in, on, in this case you highly increase the chances to capture illuvials with lower shards and so on. So you can go like very much different um, stuff. You can also do like a hybrid one if it's too boring for you to only farm rocks or whatsoever. Uh, so you can go one for mining augment, one for encounter um, uh, stuff. It will reduce your overall energy um, efficiency with your daily thing if you go hybrid but i mean the purpose of all this game is to have fun right and if you have like the most fun in doing both things at the same time go hybrid mode whatsoever but um, to have a general guide for mining because i think mining is very essential in this game for now because everything is reliant on on ores so i would um, recommend like going crazy on mining power and maybe a little bit of mining cost reduction. Yeah, that's uh, it for now. Maybe I can show you one time how to go to the next, um, to the better augments for your drone. So, because every augment has three stages actually, the basic one, the advanced one, and the supreme one. And for now, uh, on this thing, I don't have like very high um, augments for the for the bracket. So I plan to to forge the supreme one. As you can see, I still need some of the um, components. So I forged four basic runs and will deconstruct them now to have the. Um, 
components. And now I'm forging it. I instantly go to the deconstruct tab to see if there's a good passive on it or not. As you can see, in this case, I have like encounter entering costs, which would not benefit me because if I go for the dedicated mining one, I don't need encounter enter costs, so I deconstruct it right away and forge the next one. See again, and that's it, right? That's exactly what I wanted to have because I already have the one with mining power increase, but now I can do a next setup for like um, mining cost efficiency. So this one I would keep for now. And that's it, how you like re-roll your augments uh, for for the one you need to have like the best passive or the, the, the passive that you want, you would just re-roll it every time. Of course, you need the resources for it, but um, after some days, it shouldn't be the problem. So, if you have any further questions, or actually, if you found uh, great setups for your ones, we would be highly interested in um, hearing about your style of setup um, in the comment section. So, yeah, stay tuned and have fun.